I hereby call the meeting of the City Council for February 24, 2020 to order. Please stand and join me in saluting our flag. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Clerk. We have the acceptance of the minutes of the February 10th, 2020 City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of February 18th, 2020. Accepted and placed on we file. We have the appointments of Novi Rato of 14 Madrid Square, you had two Brockton to the Brockton Community Cable Television Board for a three year term ending February 2023. Referred to finance. We have the appointment of Paul Stensky Jr. of 48 Carlisle Street, Brockton, as an alternate to the Brockton License Commission for a three year term ending February 2023. Referred to finance. Madam Councilor President, Mary. Madam President, I, I'd like to take items number five, six, and seven, um, read them collectively, and suspend the rules and act on them this evening. Second. All those in favor? Uh, uh, on, that, on that motion, uh, Madam Chair. Um, if you look at number seven, uh, can I can I speak, Madam Chair? Councilor, yes. Please. Okay. Uh, if you look at the number uh, number seven in particular, we are looking to promote uh, Brenda Perez uh, to the rank of lieutenant here in the city of Brockton, and I believe she'll become the highest ranking female we've ever had in that department. I'm not against uh, the motion, but I thought it would be fitting to have her come in front of this body and be introduced to the community. I don't know if we can do that uh, beyond this, but I think it's significant for the city of Brockton to, uh, to have her come before us and be seen and heard uh, right. by the citizens that watch this program. So it's the will of the council. And I know when she was her last promotion, she was here present. So, um, what is the will of the council? Uh, well, then we can take items five and six. Don't forget, councilors, most of these people have already been promoted, so they're already um, working uh, in the position. So we can do five and six and, and, and send number seven to FinCom if that's what you want to do. I, yes, I would, prefer, I, I would prefer to do that if, all, if at all possible so that at least that she is afforded an opportunity to come uh, before this body. I, honestly, I'd like to see it all. Uh, play out. I understand that they've been promoted, but I think it makes um, it's a common it's, it should be a common courtesy when somebody is promoted to the rank of sergeant or, or lieutenant or captain to uh, for the person to be here at one of our meetings and actually be uh, be seen and heard in front of the uh, in the community as well. Madam Madam President, I, I would I would draw the motion on this and. Um, just remember, councilors, now let's not pick and choose as we did a year or two ago when I was council president because we don't do that to the firefighters. We do that right when they're before us. So remember that. But I will, I will uh, remove my motion and um, we'll send them all to finance. That's fine. Okay. The motion has been withdrawn. <coughs> all right. So the question now is that they're going to be read separately. Yes. And yes. you're going to make a referral. Yes. Right? Am I right? You can, yes. Read, them, you can read them together. Okay. But they just that they should go to finance. Then we'll go on to the promotion of Matthew Graham to the rank of temporary sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. Refer to finance. Promotion of Michael Skinner to the rank of permanent sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. Refer to finance. The promotion of Sergeant Brenda Perez to the rank of temporary lieutenant in the Brockton Police Department. Refer to finance. We have a hearing. The petition of Mass Electric Company of Verizon New England, Inc., requested permission to erect and maintain poles and wires to be placed thereon together with such sustaining and protecting fixtures as said companies may deem necessary to be owned and used in common by your petitioners in the following public way or ways. Thatcher Street, install one pole on Thatcher Street, beginning at a point of approximately 1,255 feet southeast of the center line of the intersection of Parkway and Thatcher Street and continuing approximately 79 feet in a southeast direction. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please come forward and state your name to the clerk. Good evening. Good evening. 
Uh, my name is Ryan Moskus. I'm here to talk on behalf of National Grid about two pole installations regarding the Massachusetts Grid Modernization Project. Um, the Grid Modernization is a program that where National Grid is looking to install smart monitors on poles um, to, in order to monitor the feeder performance. Um, these smart monitors allow them access to real-time data and also outage and restoration notification. Um, typically, these, uh, this equipment is required to be installed on poles right outside of the substation and need to be installed um, before the first transformer. Um, both, uh, both locations that we're proposing uh, require new poles, one on Manningly Street and one on Thatcher Street, and that's it. Thank you. Councilors, any questions? or? Councillor Nicastro, is this your ward? Um, yes, Thatcher Street is. Um, when would the work be performed? I'm not exactly sure when the construction date is. I know we're required to have everything done by 4-1. Um, so um, in, in terms of uh, construction-wise, I'm not exactly sure. But okay. I know that's when the they're going to try to get started. I don't and, know. And in one. your experience, how much of an interruption of traffic does this cause? Um, usually, I mean, uh, if it's on like main roads, we require police detail, which um, in these cases um, I, we we do uh, account for. So um, traffic shouldn't be as much of an that shouldn't be a big issue because of the uh, police detail being there. And does this work take one day, two days? Uh, with this type of work, um, I'm not exactly sure because they haven't actually uh, actually uh, constructed anything like this yet. But I'm assuming with only installing one pole and the equipment, maybe at most, uh, I mean, I could see it being done within a day. I mean, and is this the replacement of an existing pole? No. So this is uh, these two uh, pole petitions are for new poles installations. And that is b required because of um, the existing conditions. So if there's a certain equipment on right outside the substation on the first pole and the next pole d downstream is a transformer, where they're, they are required to put a new pole um, in between both of those because th uh, the new equipment that they're trying to install can't be installed on uh, poles with that type of equipment. Okay, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you, Madam President. So, is there anyone else here in favor? <coughs> Okay. If not, I declare that that portion of the hearing is closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please come forward and state your name. No? Okay. Is there, um, so nobody else here is in opposition? Well, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go on to. We'll vote on that at the end of the. Yeah, no, I'm just wondering if he's going to be here for the next one. I didn't want him okay. to leave. Petition of Mass Electric Company of Verizon New England, Inc. requested permission to erect and maintain poles and wires to be placed thereon together with such sustaining and protecting <coughs> fixtures as said companies may deem necessary to be owned and used in common by our petitioners. And the following public way always, Manley Street, install one pole on Manley Street beginning at a point approximately 180 feet south of the center line of the intersection of Belmont Street and Manley Street, <coughs> and continuing approximately 45 feet in a southern direction. Time having arrived, I declare this part of the hearing uh, open. Please come forward and state your name. Is there anyone here in favor? Sir, if you want to come, this, is this yours as well or no? Okay. The gentleman that was just up so there. So the gentleman that was just up here. So is the, do you have the second one as well, or? Uh, we have, uh, yeah, it's kind of changed. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Do you want to speak in favor? Of, just say that you're here. Please state your name to the clerk. Ryan Moskus. Okay. Is there anyone else here in favor? Councilors, do you have any questions on this, uh, on this hearing? Councilor Ian Airy, is this your area? No? Okay. Go for it. Go for it, okay. <laughs> so there's no one else here in favor. I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? No one's here in opposition. I declare that part of the hearing uh, closed as well. So we'll, we'll wait and vote at this at the end of the yeah, meeting. Yeah. Awesome, okay? thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have a petition of <clears throat> Advanced Auto Performance LLC. Brockton for transfer of motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 11 North Montello Street, 
Brockton. In City Clerk's Office, May 14th, 2019, hearing assigned for February 24th, 2020 at 7 p.m. Fire Department has no objections. Time having arrived, I declare that this hearing will open. Please come forward and state your name to the clerk. Uh, Andrana Karastamian. Good evening, sir. Good evening. So you're the new owner? I'm the new owner, owner. correct. Okay. It's Ward 7, so I know I'm uh, familiar with um, the uh, previous owner. Oh, but this is for 1100 North Montello, correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, Council, does anybody have any questions? <coughs> Is there anyone else here in favor of this? Sure. If there's no one else uh, here in favor, I, um, I'm sorry. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please come forward and state your name. Okay. Is there anyone, so that with no one here in opposition, um, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. So thank, thank you. you. Okay, the question's going to be the, on the, granted. Now, do you want to make some stipulations? Okay. Um, I don't believe we had stipulations beforehand. This is an okay. Yeah. So the questions are granting. The questions on granting the um, the transfer, the, the license, the transfer. All, in favor. All, the, all those in favor? All those opposed? It's granted. The license is granted. Congratulations. We have a communication from the mayor submitting a letter supporting a residency waiver extension from the library department under section 210 of the ordinances of the city of Brockton. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor submitting a letter supporting a residency waiver request from the board of health department under section 2-110 of the ordinances of the city of Brockton. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor submitting a letter supporting a residency waiver request from the Finance Department under Section 2-110 of the Ordinances of the City of Brockton. Accepted and placed on file. From the Director of Planning and Economic Development, requested that the City Council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of the grant award in the amount of $229,000 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Department of Housing and Community Development Housing Choice and Center Initiative Program to City of Brockton Planning and Economic Development Housing Choice Initiative Program Grant Fund. This grant will fund Keith Park pedestrian crossing improvements as part of a larger push to modernize and revitalize the Camp Hill neighborhood. This grant does not require a local match. Accepted and placed on file. We have file. a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed we on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed we on file. We have a communication from the director of the Council on Aging requesting the acceptance and expenditures of a grant award in the amount of $144,041.60 from the Executive Office of Elder Affairs Fiscal 20 Formula Grant to City of Brockton Council on Aging Fiscal 20 Formula Grant Fund. These grant funds will be used for salaries, including overtime, energy, department equipment, repair, printing, office supplies, registration, memberships, and subscriptions. No match is required. Accepted and placed on file. We have, of <clears throat> we have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending that the city council amend the revised ordinances of the city section 2-127 pay plan be amended by adding to compensation a grade DA slash P-2. This classification carries eight steps ranging from $63,887 to $95,467. It currently contains a title of assistant auditor, assistant treasurer, collector, and budget director. Accepted and placed on file. Communication to the CFO relative to the same. Number 21. Yes, you're at 22 now. Uh, did you put an yes. Okay, here we go. We have a communication from the mayor recommending that City Council amend the revised ordinances of the city section 2-127 pay plan be amended by adding a compensation a grade DA slash P-5 
for and inserting the title diversity and inclusion manager <coughs> into the compensation grant. Grade D, D A, I'm sorry, D A slash P five and is associated as step salaries. This classification carries eight steps uh, ranging from sixty two thousand to seventy six thousand two hundred and fifty nine dollars. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on Communication file. Communication from the mayor recommending that the city council of the men revised auditors of city section 2-127 pay plan be amended by deleted in its entirety from compensation grade DH5, the title of director of personnel and its associated step salaries and replacing it with DH5, Director of Human Resources. This classification carries eight steps, ranging from 115,000 to two uh, to 137,316 dollars. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed and on communication file. Communication from the Director of Planning and Economic Development requested that the City Council approve an order that authorizes the Mayor to prepare, submit, and record the documents necessary for Mass General Law Chapter 41, Section 81P, ANR, subdivision as part of the Brockton Downtown Action Strategy application to Mass Works for a grant to build a new road across city-owned parking lots from Petronelli Way to Court Street and to rebuild Petronelli Way to improve access to the new parking garage and traffic circulation in general. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a petition of Verizon Eng <coughs> New England, Inc. requesting permission to lay and maintain underground conduit with the wires and cables to be placed therein under the surface of the following public way always. Petronelli Way placed two four-foot PVCs, 205 feet each of conduit from existing manhole MH5 easterly to a custom, customer place conduit going to the new parking garage at 31 Petronelli Way. In council February 10th, 2020, motion was made to postpone for two weeks and was probably seconded. Motion carried by a hand vote. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please come forward and state your name to the clerk. Good evening, evening, counselors. My name is Robert Jenkins, Executive Director of the Brockton Redevelopment Authority. Mm -hmm. I must uh, apologize. This is actually late paperwork. Um, the conduit has already been laid. The um, Verizon uh, telephone lines are in, the elevator's working, and there's two telephone phones already working. So this is just late coming to you. I apologize. Councilors, any questions? Is there anyone else here in favor? Please state your name to the clerk. Hi, my name is Ross Billadu, representing Verizon New England. Um, I know I was here a couple weeks ago and there was uh, some kind of confusion on whether this work had been done or not. I can confirm that this project is all work complete in the field and this is just a formality. Okay. Thank you for the clarification. All set, counselors? Okay. Um, is there any, uh, I'm sorry, is there anyone else here in favor? No? If not, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Thank you, gentlemen. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please come forward and state your name to the clerk. Is there anyone else here in opposition? No. Uh, so I declare that part of the hearing closed. Okay. All right, counselors. Question. Yes. Question could be on granting at this particular time the council so desires rather than waiting to the end of the meeting since this was heard pr previously. Is there a motion for that? Move to grant. A motion has been made and properly seconded. D is it just a hand vote? Yeah, just a yeah. hand vote. All those in favor of granting? All those opposed? Motions grant, uh, the petition's granted. Okay. Thank <coughs> you. Ordered acceptance and expenditures of the grant award in the amount of $623,808.04 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Securities Office of Grants and Research 2020, Senator Charles E. Shannon, Jr., Community Safety Initiative Grant 
to the Brockton Police Department 2020 Senator Charles E. Shannon Jr. Community Safety Initiative Grant Fund and Council February 10th, 2020. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please Madam, call the vote? Madam President, I just yes, have a comment. Councilor um, Kadoshi. So just a this comment. This is a city council meeting, so you just. Oh, I'm sorry. Say. So a comment on this grant. I will um, vote favorably, and I, I actually sponsored the grant after speaking with the, um, the grant coordinator. Uh, I did mention some folks in the community that I thought we're doing great work in this area that they should collaborate with. Um, but moving forward, I would like to get more information on the outcomes of these grants and you know what's being done and what the programs are producing in the city because a lot of the data and stats that are collected to write the grants are based on our residents and the demographics and the issues that we have in the city around public uh, safety. So I would like to see some more um, reports uh, uh, moving forward, so just to comment on that, I will move favorably, I'll vote for it, and I sponsored it, but I will be looking for mid-year and end-year reports to see how effective these programs are. Okay, thank you. Councilor Nicastro. Thank you, thank you, Please Madam stand Chairman. At City Council. Um, I just wanted to respond to um, Councilor Cardozo. There is a steering committee meeting that's held quarterly. I'm there's going also, to that. There's also a monthly partners meeting on March 19th, I'm going to be invited to it. I'd be happy to, yes, to invite you as well. Come with me, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, councilors. <laughs> Madam Clerk, the uh, roll call vote, please. ASAC? Yes. Cadoza? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order <coughs> accepted expenditures of the grant award in the amount of $30,823 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Office of Grants and Research Highway Safety Division, Fiscal 2020, Sustained Traffic Enforcement Program Grant to City of Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 2020, Sustained Traffic Enforcement Program STEP Grant Fund. In Council, February 10th, 2020, ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the, um, the roll to order? ASAC? Yes. Pedozo? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. <coughs> Enemy affirmative? The order is adopted. Order that the City Council authorize the Superintendent to submit to the Mass School Building Authority the Statement of Interest Form dated April 3rd, 2020, for the Brockton High School, located at 470 Forest Avenue, Brockton, Mass., which describes the deficiencies in the priority category or categories is delineated on the addendum for which an application may be submitted to the Mass School Building Authority and the future. <coughs> Brockton High School full renovations and hereby further specifically acknowledges that by submitting the statement of interest form, the Mass School <coughs> Building Authority in no way guarantees the acceptance or approval of the application, the awarding of a grant or any other funding commitment from the Mass School Building Authority uh, commits to the city of Brockton to file an application for funding with the Mass School Building Authority. In Council, February 10th, 2020, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? ASAC? Yes. Cadozo? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order, <coughs> excuse me, acceptance of expenditures of the grant award in the amount of $300,000 for the Department of Public Health, Bureau of Addiction Services, Substance Abuse, Preventative, Preventative, Preventative Program Grant to Brockton Mayor's Office Substance Abuse Prevention 
Program, SAPC Grant Fund. In Council, February 10th, 2020, ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please uh, read the roll? ASAC? Yes. Cadozo? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order of acceptance and expenditures of the grant award in the amount of $13,780 from the Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Public Safety, Fiscal 20, Student and Senior Awareness of Fire Education, SAFE grant, to the City of Brockton Fire Department, Fiscal 20, Student Aware of Fire Education, SAFE grant fund, $10,655, and to the City of Brockton Fire Department, Fiscal 20, Senior Safe Grant Fund, $3,125, no match is required. In Council, February 10th, 2020, read and refer the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? ASAC? Yes. Cadozo? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Resolved that the City of Brockton recognizes the importance of the 2020 Census and supports participation in helping to ensure a complete, fair, and accurate count. End Council, February 10th, 2020. Bringing the to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? ASAC? Yes. Cadozo? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Resolved that the superintendent of the schools appears before the city council to explain the impact of the Student Opportunity Act and the Brockton Public Schools. End Council, February 10th, 2020. Ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. yes. Thompson? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Resolved that the Brockton City Council adopts an official position that such a reduction in services contemplated is not in the best interest of our veterans and urges the Veterans Administration to reconsider its decision to consolidate and eliminate resources on the Brockton VA campus. Further, the Council, by this resolve, communicates to our federal legislative delegation the urgent need to reverse the potentially harmful decision. End Council, February 10th, 2020. 20, ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Uh, councilors, before we vote on this item, I would just like to mention that after our, oh, we yes, that okay. um, after our last finance meeting, we received a communication from the um, director of the VA Boston Healthcare System, Mr. Vincent Ng, and I forwarded that letter to all of you. So, um, you know, just I want to just put that on the record that we've received communication from the VA uh, director of the VA hospital. Thank Councillor uh, Thompson. Yes, uh, Madam President, uh, on this resolve, <clears throat> in an effort uh, for this council to gather further information on this important issue, I'd make a motion uh, to table the resolve. Second. Okay, motion has been made and properly second. All those in favor of uh, tabling? All those opposed? The matter is tabled. Okay. Thank you, Council. Right, spirit ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. The Section 2-127 of Chapter 2 is hereby amended by adding the following Section 2-127 Pay Plan relative to Assistant Director of Human Resources. Referred to ordinance. On and spirit ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. That section 2-127 of chapter two is hereby amended by adding the following section 2-127 pay plan relative to diversity and inclusion manager. 
referred to ordinance. Ordinance be ordained by the City Council <coughs> of the City of Brockton as follows. The section 2-127 of chapter two is hereby amended by adding the following Division 7, Department of Human Resources. Referred to ordinance. Ordinance be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. The section 2-127 of chapter two is hereby amended by adding the following section 2-127 pay plan relative to the Director of Human Resources. Referred to ordinance. Ordered that the City Council reviews an extension to the residency requirements in accordance with the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, Article 3, Section 2-110, City of Brockton Ordinance Waiver of Residency Extension in reference to the Library Department. Referred to finance. Ordered that the City Council reviews an exemption for the residency requirement in accordance with the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, Article 3, Section 2-110, City of Brockton Ordinance Waiver of Residency in reference to the Board of Health Department. Referred to finance. Ordered that the City Council reviews an exemption for the residency requirement in accordance with the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, Article 3, Section 2-110, City of Brockton Ordinance Waiver of Residency in reference to the Finance Department. Referred to finance. Order 1, that the Mayor of Brockton, pursuant to the revisions of Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53A, B and is hereby authorized to accept this grant from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Housing Choice Initiative Program, and two, that the Mayor of Brockton B and is hereby authorized to expend and take such other actions as are necessary to carry out the terms, purposes, and conditions of this grant to be administered by the City's Department of Planning and Economic Development. Refer to finance. Audit acceptance and expenditures of the grant award in the amount of $144,041.60 from the Executive Office of Elder Affairs Fiscal 20 Formula Grant to City of Brockton Council on Aging Fiscal 20 Formula Grant Fund. Refer to finance. Order that the mayor or his designee is hereby authorized to prepare a file with the planning board and record with the Plymouth County Register of Deeds an ANR subdivision of plot 1 Franklin Street, 109-044, plot 3 Petronelli Way, 109-054, and plot 5 Petronelli Way, 109-055 all city-owned land for the construction of a new road that will intersect Petronelli Way, Franklin, and Court Street. Refer to real estate. The granting of Mass Electric Company of Verizon New England, Inc. requested permission to erect, maintain poles and wires to be placed thereon together with such sustaining and protecting fixtures as said companies may deem necessary to be owned and used in common by your petitioners in the following public way or ways. Thatcher Street, install one pole on Thatcher Street, beginning at a point approximately 1,255 feet southeast of the center line of the intersection of Parkway and Thatcher Street, and continuing approximately, approximately 79 feet in a southeast <coughs> direction. Council, the question's on granting by a hand vote. All those in favor of granting? All those opposed? The petition is granted. We have the granting of Mass Electric Company and Verizon New England, Inc. requesting permission to erect and maintain poles and wires to be placed thereon, together with such sustaining and protecting fixtures as said companies may deem necessary to be owned and used in common by our petitioners. And the following public way always, Manley Street, install one pole on Manley Street, beginning at a point approximately 180 feet south of the center line of the intersection of Belmont Street and Manley Street and continuing approximately 45 feet in a southern direction. The questions on granting by a hand vote, all those in favor of granting? All those opposed? The petition is granted. Sure. Councilors, um, before I, any of you have any recognition, uh, council's recognition, I would just like to remind everybody at home that Early voting started uh, today and it goes until February 28th. So it's from February 24th to February 28th. It's at Westgate Mall for all Brockton voters. It's in the old Payless uh, shoe store. That's, um, I believe, across from a dollar, uh, dollar store. And um, the hours are from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Thursday. Friday, February 28th is 8.30 to 4.30. So that's early voting, it's uh, up and running, so I hope everybody 
uh, goes out and votes if they can't make it for the uh, presidential primary, which is March 3rd, 2020. Um, the other thing I'd like to just thank BCA for, I know we um, haven't been live for the last few weeks, but our meetings have been, by the time I get home, they're up, uh, up on cable, so thank you for, um, for everything they've done with dealing with the little minor techno technological issues. Uh, Councillor Thompson. Thank you, Madam President. Um, I have uh, two matters I'd like to uh, make the community aware of. Uh, the first is uh, on Wednesday, uh, February 26th at 6.30 p.m. at the War Memorial is a uh, 2020 census uh, workshop. Uh, the, um, <clears throat> we're gonna hear from uh, multiple speakers, uh, both from uh, out of the New York office and here uh, from the Brockton uh, office, uh, basically uh, informing the residents on uh, how to participate uh, in the census and uh, what jobs are available right now uh, for the census. Uh, we're, we're trying to target uh, what we call hard to count populations. So if you're a uh, community leader uh, of any of our community organizations uh, that would be deemed hard to count, we'd uh, appreciate you appearing um, and to uh, gather this important information uh, for your organization. Uh, secondly, uh, I'd also like to uh, make note that on Thursday, uh, February 27th, uh, Councillor uh, Tom Moynihan and myself will be uh, hosting a, a joint ward meeting for both uh, wards two and five. That's gonna be done at Joe Angelo's again on February 27th from uh, six o'clock to eight o'clock. We have uh, a lot of invited guests uh, for this uh, meeting. We're uh, both gonna present a lot of information at this meeting that, uh, that uh, envelops both uh, two uh, wards two and five. We will have the mayor there, we'll have the superintendent of schools there, we'll have uh, Joe Janzik from the district attorney's office and uh, other invited guests to share with you a lot of important developments both downtown and uh, matters happening in uh, both wards and two. Uh, Tom and I hope uh, both of, uh, all of you can attend and uh, we're really excited to see you all there. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Council Lally. Madam President, moment of Council's recognition. Yes. Still, still, still ready to say personal privilege, I am. Uh, I want to announce that on March 7th, uh, there's a uh, uh, which is uh, Sunday, I believe, a uh, celebration for Lithuanian Heritage Day. Um, that'll be at 5.15 p.m. at St. Michael's Church, which is 87 North Main Street in Avon. Uh, so the, the Lithuanian community is gathering there to celebrate Heritage Day, uh, and everyone else is invited. They always have a good crowd, some great performances, and a lot of food. So <laughs> it's a fantastic event. Uh, I, I'd urge everyone to come down, not just because I'm the counselor of the village. Uh, I think it's a great time. Uh, I recommend everyone attending once again. That is March 7th, 5.15 p.m., St. Michael's Church in Avon, uh, and there will be a mass beforehand. All right, thank you. Thank you, Council. Councilor Mendez. Yes, um, I just wanted to say that this past weekend I attended an event at the Brockton Public Library, which is part of the Black History Month, and it was uh, an event that NWACP coordinated. It was uh, regarding the women's right to vote. So that was a very important event, and it was very well attended, and I'm so glad that we not only won the right to vote, but now we can even be elected officials. So I'm so glad <laughs> of these women that really paved the way for us to be here today in making a difference in our history. So I just wanted to congratulate all those that really are uh, doing a great job here in our city. Thank you. That's true, and it's a great event. They've had a few of them throughout the month at the library, so they've, they've been well attended. <laughs> Councillor Afawa. Thank you, Madam President. Because of the open meeting law, I wanted to offer a couple of remarks tonight in public about some council business that came before us. There are some pay adjustments that have been submitted. Most people don't know we have a wonderful working group of people in the city. They are relatively unknown. They come in every day within their scope of influence and responsibility. They do a great job. And I'm concerned when we look like we're favoring either one position or one person for a pay raise. If this pay raise that's been proposed tonight and refers to ordinance goes through for a particular department head, that person would make more than the city clerk. 
who was responsible for every vital record that has to be maintained here in the city. That person would make a salary in excess of what we pay the building commissioner who is on call 24-7, 365 days a year and has to be certified by the state. So what's my point? My point is that actually we're a billion dollar corporation. We spend about half a billion dollars, but if you add in all of our fixed assets, our buildings, our equipment, our machinery, we're a billion dollar business. And I'm uncomfortable, and I hope the Ordinance Committee takes a hard look at this, cherry picking a position here and there and deciding that we're going to do a salary increase. Now there are some new positions here that I think are needed and we, we have discussed them before relating to other matters. I would just hope that we as a council, before we perhaps raise one salary for one person, which can erode the working relationship between people in organizations and in city government, maybe it's time to look at all salaries. And I will tell you, based on the job we do, we've almost become part-time employees. I mean, I never thought I'd say this, but we're, we probably could be paid reasonably and defensively $20,000, $25,000 a year because mm -hmm. of all of the hours required for research and meeting with people <coughs> and conducting business and helping constituents. So I understand these have been submitted. I understand they've been sent to ordinance. But I'm telling you, there are many, many, many other wonderful, dedicated, professional people who have been in this city, who have worked in their respective positions, who started off at step one, and they've made it through the various steps because they've completed a year of service, a year of service, a year of service. They didn't come in a top step and then expect to go to a higher step. And so I guess I'm speaking for them. I guess I'm saying I appreciate what you do, I appreciate what you've done, and when all of this is sorted out and it comes before us, I just hope we find a way to do the right thing. Whatever that right thing is that we collectively decide we should do. But I wanted to speak for the people who aren't on this agenda tonight, who haven't been mentioned, and who do one hell of a job for all of us in the city and for all of us on the council. And I thank you, uh, Madam President. Thank you, Council. On that note, um, just a reminder, all our subcommittee meetings are open to the public. This is the time when, whether it's city employees or um, any, any resident wants to come in and listen to the uh, subcommittees deliberate and how they come to their, to their vote. And then, of course, everything comes back to the full city council for a final vote. So it's just because it goes to ordinance doesn't mean that it's set in stone. That's where it's actually discussed and deliberated. And um, there are times when they, um, you can speak on certain matters. So I invite everybody to attend these meetings. That's where you hear all uh, the President. information. Uh, sorry. Council Cardoso. So on that note, um, to Council Faro's point, I would also add the residency requirements. If we're gonna lift them for certain positions, then we should look across the board as well. Because I feel like that's not fair to lift them for certain positions you know, as we go along. We need to look at it across the board. Is that it, Councilors? <laughs> any other Councilors, any other comments and moments of recognition? No? With no further business before us this evening, this meeting is adjourned.